G'day, it's Arthur from Arthur's Cruises. Make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and I'll get back to you. We find ourselves today in Adelaide's Botanic Gardens. The best way to get to the gardens through the Plain Tree Drive off of Hackney Road. There are many entrances into the Botanic Gardens. We start off with the Friends Gate. Another entrance is the Ginkgo Gate off of Frome Road. However, the most commonly used entrance is the main gate off of North Terrace, right in the heart of the CBD of Adelaide. The garden has many wonderful species of trees, plants, Many wonderful sculptures around the place. SA Water Mediterranean Garden sees the clever strategies of water wise plants from the Mediterranean climate zones of Southern European, California, South Africa, and South Australia, all working well together. Garden of Health is an iconic health and well-being demonstration garden displaying plants used to heal and promote well-being in Western and non-Western cultures. The Botanic Garden Restaurant and Kiosk is a great place to unwind and enjoy the wonderful scenery. The design of the Amazon Water Lily Pavilion in 2007 was inspired by the leaf structure of the Amazon Water Lily. The original pond dates back to 1868 and is still a central feature. Developed to demonstrate what a variety of fibers, oils, herbs, and spices look like in their living plant form. This garden has a wonderful water feature that is reminiscent of French grand palaces. Palm House was built in 1877 and restored in 1995.
prefabricated in Germany using cut leaning edge design from the late 1800s. It is one of the last of its kind in the world. abundance of wildlife. Watch out for the duckies! This is the main lake. It's a beautiful place to sit back, relax and watch the world go by. This is the Bicentennial Conservatory. Built in 1989, it is the largest single span glass house in the Southern Hemisphere, with a steel superstructure supporting more than two and a half thousand square meters of toughened glass. The conservatory has a wonderful walking track that winds through the whole structure. Inside the conservatory is a rainforest. Cracked Earth is a wonderful bridge that links the Botanic Gardens to the First Creek wetlands.
Adelaide's Mediterranean climate makes it a natural home for roses in Australia. Strolled amongst the thousands of varieties in the International Rose Garden and the National Rose Trail Garden to find wonderful species of roses. Roses flower between October and April. classic example of an Australian eucalyptus tree. This particular tree stands at over 100 metres tall. The Simpson Shade House was open to the public in 1919. The Shade House contains a collection of shade loving plants including Australian ferns and palms. Thank you for coming along with me and enjoying the Adelaide's Botanic Gardens. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big like, hit the subscription button, leave a comment below, share it with your friends, and I'll get back to you with some wonderful other videos of Adelaide. I'm Arthur from Arthur's Cruises.